Okay guys, welcome to the channel. I've taken a hiatus of a year. <laughs> Started to make content, didn't didn't continue it. Um quite a lot going on in terms of family life and work life and etc etc etc. I have a new new um born son into the family was quite a big deal. Um but we're back. We're back doing content like I promised a year ago. <laughs> um so here we go then. So what we're going with, we've got FIFA. Uh, 20, which we're going to be basically the main the part of this channel is going to be mainly around that. Um, I've got a few ideas, um, as you can see on the screen. The first one, what we're going with today is the Leon season. So basically, what I kind of like to do, I like I, in terms of playing FIFA, I like to play with teams that are mid table ish um, and try and basically get them back to the, either past glories or to their first glories. Um, been playing FIFA for a since. Ooh, 2003 I think when you used to have the little target that you could literally put the free kick banging right in the corner every time and the career mode on there you had to start as a lower league team and players like always used to I think I remember always picked Berry, and you couldn't play for it you couldn't start with a bigger team until you went up 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 a level and then you had to keep going like that which is quite quite cool in terms of how it career mode used to be but obviously now this is the modern day sort of wrong. So this is what we're doing today. So we're going to start the Leon Road to Glory in terms of returning them back to the back to the top of the French League. Um, obviously PSG have been pretty much there for a long time now. Um, the last time actually Leon won a league in real was 2007-2008, which is crazy to think that's the last time I actually won a league title. That's 12 years ago, considering the size of the club. Um, but enough of that anyway, we'll just move on. Um, so we'll just quickly go run over this first one. It's going to be a bit of a brief one, just to go in terms of what, what we're looking at, what what squad we have, transfers we brought in. And then we'll get into the first game against Monaco. Should be a good one for the first game of the season. So in terms of transfers then, we'll just quickly run through that. So let's go to the bottom and work our way up. So there's a few loanies gone out. Um, uh, we've got we've made a few... Sold a few players. Marciello, aging centre back. He's gone to Villarreal. He's C5.5. Uh, Forsberg, 26 million. Bought him four. So hopefully he'll play in that cam. He'll play well. He will play in that cam role, and link up with Dembele up front. Hopefully, uh, brought in William as well. Bit of experience uh, from Chelsea for 19 million. Um, not much more to say about. You know, he's Premiership, Premier League quality. So we shall see how he gets on in in the French division. Uh, we've got. Griffins, who's gone out low, is a young English striker. To Zutan Wargem. No idea where they are. <laughs> uh, Markel, gone to Ajax, 7 million. Uh, another lonely player there. Did he? Um, we brought in Livia Giroud. Nine and a half, again, bit of experience. Quite a young team. And then the last transfer that's gone is Brendan Terrari. He's left, gone also to Ajax for 20 million. So not made a mass amount of signings. Um, we've got currently... Um, one on the horizon, which I'll just quickly show you. Uh, where are we at? Transfer list. Oh, no, sorry. Sent off so Matthias Ginter, someone looking at to bring in. Um, he's a bit older, um, decent rated 82. But I think he's similar rated to our Anderson at the back. We'll just run for that squad in a second. But so a deal has been agreed with him, just don't have the finance to complete the deal. So I'm hoping. Um, before the window we'll get a bit of money back in that just to finish off it's just getting his wages sorted out which obviously you can see are not high but in terms of budget wise what we have left I weren't left with too much so basically all that transfer transfer budget has gone on him already along with a, player, with a player going the other way as well so we shall see if that happens if not it's not the end of the world we got cover in that position it was just a, more of an upgrade on that situation um, I'll go over transfers and how I set that all up on another episode. Obviously, this one I just want to kind of get over the basics. Um, so in terms of squad, um, so that is our that is the eleven we will be going with. We'll be chopping and changing depending on how they perform, etc. So Lopez obviously be a long time serving at Leon. Uh, he's captain, and then Tete, Anderson, Denari, and Kone as our backline. Um, just pre-worn, um, in terms of names, I do butcher names and my pronunciations are not perfect. So please free to flag me up on them because I'm fully aware of it and it's always quite funny when I attempt to say names that they go completely wrong. So hopefully you have a bit of a laugh at my expense for that. Um, so mid midfield, we've got Mendes. Not fully 
confident of having him as my one of my centre mids, but in terms of rating wise, he's probably our best. The way he's our third best, as you can probably see what's already there. Um, they've got Awa. He's quality. Um, he should be a star for this for this season, I reckon. And then obviously Forsberg, who we bought in. And then we've got William, who's on the right. Uh, Dem Depay, Memphis. Again, quality. Can play against that whole front line. And also using it in as a striker if needed. And then we've also got Dembele, who is, again, pretty much a goal-scoring machine. So we should, in terms of squad, be all right. And then obviously the bench. We've got Giroud. Rene Adelier. There you go. There's my first pronunciation. That's gone probably horrendously. <laughs> um, again, he grows pretty quickly in FIFA. So he'll probably end up... I will probably end up playing him more than Mendes. I've used him uh, in a previous season before when I've done Leon, and that was sort of an offline mode, and he he was quality then. Uh, Toussaint, just a squad player to be honest for me, nothing nothing too special. Um, and then Raphael, obviously ex Man United right back, still still decent, twenty nine, which is crazy because I remember when they signed him for like when he was only like nineteen, eighteen, and with his brother Fabio, which is mental. Makes me feel very old. <laughs> and then Yangam and Briar, better known for Newcastle when he was there. Again, he's just a backup. Probably will disappear at the end of the season. His contract was running out. And um, obviously with the update, we've got Tuka and Baki. Never played with him before, so he should be interesting. But again, decent rated. So we we'll definitely be using him. And Terry, he's good. We used him a few times. And then you've got obviously a few other squad players. Um, it's actually Juan Lucas is the one we're looking at, potentially going out the other way if we can get... Um, Ginkter in, but we'll see. Um, and then we just got a few other squad players. Uh, Select, who's the cent other centre back, pretty physical as you can see. Only nineteen as well, six foot four, decent, and not too slow. So he could be definitely used. I do tend to rotate. It, um, anyway, through seasons, I'm I'm one of those people. As soon as their green bar starts going to more than less than three quarters, I end up changing them. So there will be a lot of squad rotation. So in terms of hopefully. We'll People complain, um, people in terms of players complain about playing. We shouldn't really have much of that. But yeah, that's the squad we're going with. So there might be a few more transfers on the line. Um, obviously, like I said, we've we've started the season. We are already. I've already gone basically to the first part of it. So um, I've skipped all the preseason stuff. Um, if that's something people want to see going forward, I'll happily include it. But didn't see the point. Um, and also transfers as well in terms of going through the transfers. Picking the players, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If people want to see stuff like that, I'm happy to do that. If it's more the gameplay people want to see, I'll go over that as well. So, I'm flexible. All comes down to what people want, really, and how I how I will cater the channel too. But obviously, for the first episode of the first seri series, <laughs> don't imagine there'll be a massive uh, massive input. But we well, know you never know. You never know. So, um, we'll just quickly go over the board objection board of, of expectations. Sorry. Um, so in terms of overview, uh, so quite a big one. What we already mentioned about was domestic uh, league in terms of Leon not winning it for a long time, but the actual long-term goal on here is to win it in two seasons, which I think is, should be doable. Um, maybe not first season, second season, when we get another transfer window in, maybe. But we'll see, you never know. Um, and then you've got obviously about finishing Champions League position for the first season, which again should be doable, more than doable to finish in fourth. French League, uh, content of success, obviously in the Champions League already this season, uh, wants to knock out stages, which we should get through the group, groups, all right, but we'll we'll cover that when we when we get to that bit, uh, brand exposure, again, that should that should be fine, and then the other one that's uh, critical is youth development, Leon obviously quite known, well known for developing young French players, uh, obviously Benzema's comes, comes to the forefront straight away, um, someone we may look at signing and bringing back. You know, a bit of nostalgia effect, but we'll see. Uh, but obviously, yeah, you've got two grow two youth academy players by at least 10 overall points as soon as they grow and play them in five matches either as part of the starting level or coming as a sub. And then sign at least three players younger than 20 year old, potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. So it's a bit of a bit of an interesting target, but obviously, we will look to achieve that. So we will we will be using the youth develop the, the, um, the youth squad. Uh, I've already got a scout out for that already. Um, no one in the academy. I don't tend to put people straight in. Um, I tend to give it at least the first three months um, and then just see how their overall differs because it always changes after. I never sign them on the first. So, in terms of everything else, 
I think what we should do is jump straight into this press conference and then uh, we'll jump into the first game. Merci de votre présence. Je crois que nous allons pouvoir commencer. How are your preparations for Leon debut going? Or OL? Uh, working hard every day. He says, sipping through the whole preseason. <laughs> if there's something people want me to read, I'm happy to read it. Um, but again, I'll gauge that on how we go. Um, so can your team handle the pressure of qualifying for the US Champions League? I think it's well within our reach. And Giroud transfer of Chelsea stands out as a bargain of the year. Maybe he get his first match on the pitch against Monaco. Potentially. We'll see how the game goes. Um, take a while to settle in. I believe, top of my head, he was originally Bordeaux. I'm not sure. Don't it voilà quote me on that one. Or was it Marseille? It's one of those two he's played for before he went to Arsenal, wasn't it? Can't, can't remember, but he's been a quality player. I think he's been a decent servant to the clubs he's been at. Maybe take for granted a little bit, but it should do well in the French division, I would imagine. Okay, let's get into our first game then, away at Monaco. Another team that will be competing with us in terms of looking at the end of the Champions League spot, so a good result here would be a good start to start the series and the season. So, let's go. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. I look to we keep the uh, cutscenes in, in to begin with. Um, action obviously, on the bigger menu. games and that. We I'm won't Derek go through the whole thing. But that, if we ever get to cup finals Dixon. and stuff like that, we'll no maybe really just make the episodes a bit longer for this sort of thing. Just to add to the effect. The effect. But in we'll see how it goes. But anyway, we're kicked off here already. So this is where my pronunciation name is becoming apparently awful. So... Please bear with me with that sort of stuff. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. Memphis for this 90 minutes. Inside. Focus on it. Bit Get of space the three points. Move Falls on to big. the next one. Looking forward to it. Dembele makes that run. Oh, that's an interesting pass. He does. He's just got but to continue his run. Dembele. Oh, what a start. An early one opening nil. goal lead. Well, you always want to start Four quickly. And there's a certainly a quick Falls start to Dembele. there. What a like finish. what I said. What the reason we brought him in for was that link-up play. Well, here it is again, Derek. The way to the pass is excellent and the finish, clinical. Lovely play. Perfect start. Exactly what we wanted. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Set a marker for the first game of the season. Oh, let PSG know we mean business. Adrian Silva. A bit of running room now on the wing. Oh, Lack of poor. guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's Lopez. ball. Back to Koke. Emil Forsberg. Forsberg again. Obviously, he already got his first assist. Kone. Back to Kone again. Oh, Kone, great run. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Going out to the back, oh, Williams at the end. Oh, sure nothing right now, happened. I'm pretty sure my own player just tackled. I won, but. Oh, poor, poor boy, Memphis. Lamy jumped on me then. Oh, back end. Aguilar. Cesc Fabregas on the ball. Emil Forsberg. It's a good now, run by William here. there, but the ball didn't quite want to get there. I'm still there though. William goes for the lob. Oh, oh lovely. Goal on well, his debut. The goalkeeper has no Welcome interest to the French in League, William. <laughs> it's 2-0 in 16 minutes. 
Well, Derek, he sees the position of the goalkeeper, and that's what makes his mind up. Yeah, this time, a wild assist. Chip. Lovely ball, lovely dink over. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It can be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Exactly the start we wanted. It's going their way. 2 0. Push for more. Let's put this game out beyond their reach for the second half. Good tackle. A wah. Lovely. It's all about translating threats into goals. Oh. Given away. Magnificent piece of tackling from Adrian Silva on that occasion. Yeah, confidence flowing for the Leon players. He's man. got space. Anderson's left his man there. Uh, Good ball ball in. Oh, oh no, straight back out. And this time oh, Gedler in the rebound. What oh, first 20 minutes. As we can see, right this place at the right time. Strikers' instinct to be back, there guys. or thereabouts. Keeper is no Ball chance. by Koke, though. On the goal again, albeit from a Chester different just angle. down from setting up nicely. <laughs> so there we have it, 2-1. Forsberg. It's Forsberg's. Now Dembele. Who's good? First time playing with him, so. And he takes on the shot. Oh, Dembele. And the keeper oh, would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. And ben Yedder's still got that. Anderson's not really enjoying playing with it against him. Oh. Just a decent looking attack here. Fine ben cross Dunham's into the pace the there. Get that one out. And clears oh, nice. his lines. Williams the four ball now back. and hit him back on the counter. Back. Counter Williams. attacking very much an option. Play that to Dembele. Dembele has got a bit of space. And the goal William. Oh, and William, the yes. It doesn't get much better oh, than this. Oh, a well, it's a double bubble, Derek. He can't believe it. Way I'd be happy with this debut. <laughs> Turned out to be a decent sign already. Well, here's the replay. It comes off the keeper, and he's every right to ask where his defenders I mean, are. They were second it's to react, and he's in for the, the back keeper. of the net. He's made a good save in the first well, one. Just fell back into his path, goal. and he isn't going to miss that. Slimani, quick ball, almost all along the ground. That's a good ball. Oh, it's and three two for the half. Ben Yedder's got himself a brace. Wow, what an important goal that could be, Derek. Just before half time, they pull one back. They're back in it. They've been four in this first half. Let's see what happens in the second half. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. They had, um, was it Mendy, wasn't it, beforehand? The one that's gone to Real Madrid. But in terms of replacing left back, we haven't really got well, one. The manager will be so again, that might be something that we look to hit on our still transfer in the lead, list. Not all doom and gloom. Going for unless. Um, I'm not worried about how Cody will grow, but obviously not putting himself in the best light in this game. Oh, right, the second half. Then. The second half with the lead we need to get along him going with the goal to just I feel like there could be another one in there for them. I mean, they've always slipped my defence apart twice, so. It's with William. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? And the cross not quite accurate enough. Over the touchline for a throw in. Adrian Silva. Alexander Galavin has it. Bakayoko. Cesc Fabregas on the ball. Good use of advantage by the referee. Now let's see what they can do here. <laughs> and a throw in it's going to be. 
a Often bit of a weak yellow to card. Straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? He looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with a the yellow card. William. I'll change the pace by a while and then attack, by William. Launched by William. He's got to score! Oh. Great save following the close range effort. Look how close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. It's the inside of his leg. He's driven in the corner. Ball in. Back across. Ah, nope. Just because I want to give him his debut. I know he probably, because as we mentioned the press here, if he doesn't get to play, he'll probably kick off by not playing. <laughs> That's a bit excessive, whoops. Come on, I'm going to get there though. He's in with a chance. Then Bello. Oh, oh the getting in the way there. And putting his body on the line. He takes a. Still a chance there. <laughs> oh, I'll do this. Then Bello. No, there we go. Just the fight. This is new to get substitute. <laughs>
Um, so the match was at least entertaining. Um, uh, obviously, we try and get a few of these out a week. Um, see how we go. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.